This is a massive opportunity for the UK, a massive opportunity to create jobs, a massive opportunity to create technologically advanced ecosystems that support the car manufacturing industry, it supports the energy self-storage industry and it supports the critical metals industry, which will be essential for the maintenance of an automotive industry within the UK. Altillium is a market leader, no doubt about that. We are the only full circularity, closed loop business within the UK. This is a real exciting opportunity, not only for UK PLC, for the government, but for private investment. They see a huge opportunity in a sustainable business that ticks an awful lot of boxes environmentally in terms of moving towards net zero and meeting all other targets. Every battery that comes to the UK essentially becomes a resource that lives in the UK now. It's no longer nickel that comes from Indonesia, it's no longer lithium that comes from Australia. It's resources that are in the UK and available for the UK to use for its own ends, for its own benefit and for its own growth. We believe at Autilium we can give 50% of the lithium, 50% of the nickel, over 80% of the graphite needed for EV batteries from recycling in 2040. EV batteries are a unique opportunity. We can recover over 95% of the critical minerals from an old EV battery. The future minerals needed for electrification don't have to come from mining. What we've managed to achieve this year is not just recycling to produce a second-rate material, but recycling to produce a first-rate material, one that shows real equivalence with commercially available materials that any OEM would be sourcing from the Far East, from, from the large-scale manufacturers who are using virgin-mined resources to make them. It's been a huge year for Altillion. We have grown our company from 13 people to 46 people as we stand here today. We have opened our second stage of our technological development. We've moved from a kilogram scale cathode active metal production to a metric tonne scale cathode active metal production. And next year we'll be looking to commission an 8,000 metric tonne nickel MHP facility. We've also had the benefit of two new capital partners that have come into our company in the last 12 months. We have SQM, which is the world's largest miner of lithium, and we have Marabini Corporation, which is a Japanese global conglomerate. It's really, really exciting that we're doing processes uh, in this company at scales that no one in the UK has ever done before. This is something that our engineering team will have brought from first principles all the way to a fully functioning, operating, complicated and safe system. We can take an old battery, an old technology battery, which would be an MNC111, one part nickel, one part manganese, one part cobalt. We can take that, separate the metals out, and then re-engineer that into a new technology cathode active material, which is a MNC811, for example. And that product can be used directly into another battery. So we're supplying this cathode active material to UK BIC, and these are being qualified in an industrial environment by a leading UK automotive. Companies like Altillium that are doing this type of work in recycling cathode active material is really important because you're going from a less technologically advanced material to a more technologically advanced material. As the industry evolves, we want more performance all the time and we need to deal with the, the cost of the material that are coming in and the supply of the material. Re is a big part of that to, to help alleviate those concerns. It's critically important to have control of your own battery and critical metal supply chain and I think we're seeing in the world today that there is a weaponization of these types of critical metals. China currently controls in excess of 85% of the graphite of the world and so that's a good example as to what could happen to the UK should they not control their own battery critical metal supply chain. There's going to be different things that we learn about recycled material and how to use it and how it performs that we don't know right now. And all those things are going to spur innovation. And I think that's the important thing for the world is to keep progressing like that and to keep making products like that and to keep trying to decarbonize and keep making a, a, a better world for tomorrow. By 2040, 50% of the world's lithium will be via recycled product. And we've done an analysis where we've compared our recycling process versus a virgin mine China supply chain and the carbon saving is 72 percent and one thing that we have done and tested recently is that our 811 product performs as well if not better
than a virgin mind product. And we have that tested through Imperial College. So what that gives us is better charge density, better charging times and lifetime of the battery. We are uniquely positioned to build something truly great that can make a difference. I think there's very few times in life when you can truly physically make a difference to not only the community, but people's lives. You're doing a good thing for the world. I think for our, our children's children, our children's children, having this company is going to make the world a better place.